So congratulations, you finally bought an Airstream. She's your new pride and joy, and you want to make some upgrades, but you don't want to spend a lot of money. Well, stay tuned. I'm going to share with you our favorite upgrades that we've made to our Airstream. And the best part, they all cost less than $500. Okay guys, when we bought our Airstream, uh, we bought it used and it's a 2017. And just like any standard uh, Airstream, it comes with some of the base features. As we've been living in our Airstream over the last 10 months and traveling full time, Lisa and I both realized that there were several things that we wanted to upgrade in our Airstream just to make it more efficient, make it more comfortable, make it a little bit more user friendly for us as we are traveling around the United States. So what I want to do now is just share with you what we think are our favorite upgrades that we've made to our Airstream and they all cost less than $500. So this list that I've, I've compiled here and I got my notes is not really in any particular order other than in, in price point. So I'm going to start with the cheapest and we'll work our way down to the most expensive upgrade uh, that we've made so far to our Airstream. So number one on our list is the installation of the no locks door solution. If you're not familiar with that, it is a very inexpensive, easy, do-it-yourself uh, upgrade that you can make to your Airstream. And if you've been around Airstreams for very long, you've probably heard horror stories of people accidentally getting locked out of their Airstreams. Well, with this uh, invention by Phil Enoch, the, the door guy, uh, you don't have to worry about that. And at, at about a price point of about $37 to $40, it is a, a simple upgrade that you can make to your Airstream uh, and it can be invaluable for you. Uh, our next upgrade is going to be the addition of the Mopeka propane sensor. But this is an upgrade to your propane tanks that allows you to remotely track how much propane you have on hand uh, using ultrasound uh, technology and Bluetooth to connect to your phone. What you do is you put these sensors on the bottom of your propane tank and it, it will read how much propane you have in each one of those tanks. Uh, why this is important, if you've ever been out camping in the middle of the night and the heater went off, uh, it's probably because you've run out of propane. There's nothing worse than having to get up in the middle of the night, go out and either switch propane tanks or just because you're out of propane altogether and you didn't know it, you have to wait till the next day. And at about a cost of $125 for a pair, I, again, I think it's going to be a great investment. It's going to just make life easier than being able to track how much propane you have on hand. So the next upgrade we made was uh, the purchase of the LevelMate Pro uh, leveling system. So this is a Bluetooth compatible device that you mount on the inside of your Airstream. And once you get it mounted and calibrated, you use it to help and assist in leveling your rig when you roll onto a site. So as you can see, we have our LevelMate Pro installed here in the uh, front bedroom of our Airstream uh, right underneath the, uh, the television set. We installed it here because it was uh, towards the front of the Airstream and made sure that we got good signal from when I'm sitting in the truck uh, with my cell phone. But it's super simple. Just come in here, turn it on. You'll hear a beep and then it's, it's being activated. All you got to do then is open up the app on your phone and it'll tell you if you're level left or right. And at about $140, uh, well under the $500 price point and uh, something I would highly recommend as well. The next upgrade we made was the installation of snap pads onto our Airstream. These are permanent jack pads that you don't have to worry about lugging around wooden blocks or plastic uh, Lego blocks around in your tow vehicle anymore because once you install these on your stabilizer jacks, they're permanent. You don't have to worry about them falling off. They're always there, super simple whenever you put your stabilizer jacks down. And again, just makes life so much easier and more efficient whenever you're setting up. So at about $200 for the set of four that we purchased for our Airstream, I thought it was a great value. Again, frees up some storage space, and as we all know, storage space in an Airstream is, is a premium. The next upgrade we made to our Airstream was we replaced the original skylights. Our rig is now going on six years old, and as I noticed, the skylights on the rig were starting to weather, starting to crack and deteriorate, 
and I was afraid that over time I was going to start getting a water leak. When I looked at replacing those, we decided to go with Maxim Skylights, and they make a fantastic product, uh, much better than the original skylights that will come in your Airstream. First off, they have uh, two domes as well as then a, a flat panel, so you have a triple um, pane installation, which is going to increase uh, the installation value of your Airstream. In addition, the, the materials they use are hurricane uh, resistant as well as the frame is, is welded aluminum, so it's going to really uh, stand up uh, to the test of time and the elements. If you're interested in the Maxim Skylights, I, I would tell you you need to check out our friends over at Zephyr Travels. Randy made a great installation video that uh, if, you, if you're interested in, in installing these yourself, he tells you exactly what you need to do and how to do it, and it's fantastic. I used that when I was installing my um, uh, skylights into my Airstream as well. Uh, they're about $300 a piece and, and well worth it. The next upgrade we made it was the installation of a Micro Air Easy Start. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Micro Air Easy Start, what it is, the electronic component that reduces the startup load uh, on your air conditioner's compressor. And again, the reason why this is important is it can extend the life of your air conditioner by reducing the startup load that is, is put on your air conditioner uh, every time with the repeated startup at a price point of about $300 to $400 depending on what uh, model of the Easy Start you, you require for your air conditioners. Again, it, it, it's an investment and an upgrade to your air conditioning unit uh, that is going to probably save you some money down the road. The next uh, upgrade we made to our Airstream was installing the Froley Sleep System and it's been a game changer for us. Now this is an upgrade that I can't recommend highly enough because you use it every night. Every night that you're sleeping in your Airstream, you're enjoying uh, a much better and more restful sleep because this Froley system acts as a spring uh, system underneath your mattress and allows you for more, much more comfortable sleep. So if you're interested in that, I've got a link to a video that I can provide as well as I can provide a link to uh, to the product in the description below if you're interested in purchasing, purchasing that. So guys, I think that's going to do it for today's video. If you like this content, please consider subscribing to the channel uh, and giving us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about any of these upgrades, uh, leave a, uh, your questions in the comment section below. Or if you have some recommended upgrades uh, that you want to share, uh, you can also leave those in the comment section below. Be very interested in hearing what you think are some of your favorite upgrades you've made to your Airstream. Uh, that costs less than $500. So again, that's going to do it. And I appreciate everybody watching the channel. And uh, if we don't hear from you, hopefully we'll see you down the road.